Hey DR, this is King Black, and welcome to Battlefield 1. And this has been the cheapest way of all the Battlefield games, how to raise your KD. It takes little to no effort, and it's difference between being the hacker in Battlefield Hardline and this game, being the commander of the Dreadnought. Uh, when you're a hacker in a hardline, you hardly get any kills as most of the abilities you have as a hacker in Battlefield Hardline are supportive. Whereas here, you actually have bombardment capabilities and relatively reloads very fast. So by the time your shells land, you're already ready to shoot again. And these can net you anywhere between one to I've seen so I've had even six kills and one barrage and if you are a player on the ground it is one of the cheapest ways you feel that you will die often now I don't know exactly how effective a nerf is going to be as since battlefield sort of holds on to a certain realism in games when you have a shell of that size landing on land, it's going to create a huge blast radius. And it's going to create a lot of damage. You can't have something that is so powerful be nerfed that it turns into a, a little mortar round with maybe a 5 meter um, kill zone. And this is an uh, incredibly boring way to play Battlefield 1 but there are people out there that all they care about is their KDs similar to COD this is the way most of them will be going since it requires very little effort not that many people focus on dreadnoughts so it's very easy to get 60 kills with maybe only three or two deaths a match which in terms of KD is insane now that's a 20 to 1 ratio. But that being said, I still love Battlefield. I do support DICE. I do like the, the physics and the mechanics within the game, which is a lot different than COD. In Battlefield, you have more realism, maybe not as much so as games like Arma. But in Battlefield, you do have to learn how to lead your target, you do have to learn how to aim. Shot placement in Battlefield is a lot more critical than in other games such as Call of Duty or Homefront or Overwatch or any of these other FPSs. But it's an extremely satisfying feeling when even in a uh, close, quarter ba uh, close quarter battle scenario where you're less than 10 meters from your target and you both engage in a firefight that better shot placement can often determine the battle such as if you're aiming upper chest and higher you will kill them faster than if they're aiming at you lower hip and down it's not like Call of Duty where you get killed by an arrow on the foot you know Call of Duty is a twitch shooter it's good for people who you know not to offend anybody but anybody that may have ADD and a little twitchy it's a good way for them to get that extra energy off people who like to develop a little bit more manual dexterity games like Battlefield help provide that and I have been a Battlefield veteran ever since Bad Company 2 my expertise mainly lies in being a sniper which is different than what my job was in the army, which I was an artilleryman, king of battle. But I definitely like the setting of Battlefield 1. There's just some, some tweaks, some balance issues that they need to work on. I mean, they introduced a lot more new elements here. You know, you have the dreadnought, you have horses, you have 
a whole bunch of things going on that just somebody who is used to modern shooters have to get used to. But I don't recommend that you play the game this way. I just am showing this kill streak to show what is capable in this game. If you haven't already, you should pick this game up. If you got at least an hour of downtime and actually want to get good at FPSs, this is the one for you. You know, I can't praise Battlefield enough.